Good day, Turbo fans and retro game enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of Turbo Tuesday. Released in 1990 for the TurboGrafx-16, Drop-Off takes the classic breakout formula and adds a few twists. While it offers some innovative ideas and charming visuals, its overall execution leaves it feeling more like a curious experiment than a must-play title. Interestingly, Drop-Off has a story that unfolds as the game progresses. With a short animated introduction, you find out that Takashi's girlfriend Izumi has been possessed by a demon. Takashi proceeds to enter her dreams to save her. The game boasts some colorful and detailed sprites, especially for the TurboGrafx-16. The backgrounds are very simple, but do change with each stage. Sprites take on common forms from fruits and gemstones in the beginning stages to more organic types like lips and brains in the higher levels. There are a total of five stages. Each is split into multiple levels. Drop-Off adds a layer of strategy by introducing power-ups, hazards, and even a boss battle. Some of the power-ups allow you to rewind the dropping objects or to freeze time. While the visuals are colorful and bright, the soundtrack, on the other hand, is bland and repetitive. It gets almost grinding at times. Drop-Off is a love letter to break out with a few intriguing twists. Its charming visuals and unique mechanics offer a brief diversion. But ultimately, the frustrating controls and repetitive gameplay hold it back from truly reaching its potential. If you're a die-hard TurboGrafx collector or have a particular fondness for breakout variants, it might be worth checking out. However, for most gamers, there are more polished and engaging, brick-breaking experiences available.
Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next episode of Turbo Tuesday. And follow us on Twitter for the latest updates.